number ending in two zeros uh, is also divisible by four. So we have two rules. Sum formed by the last two digits is divisible by four and a number ending in two zeros is also divisible by four. So we have here 224. Let us see if the last two digit is divisible by four. So 224. The last two digit is 224. So let us divide 200 uh, divide 24 by 4. So 24 divided by 4 that is 6. There is no remainder. Okay, this is divisible by 4. Let us see another example. So here We have 500 and 7,800. So another rule, if they ends in 20, it is divisible by 4. 500 ends in 20. And 7,800 also ends in 20. That's why it's also divisible by 4. So is there any question? Okay. Is that clear? go now okay I want you to test yourself I have five numbers here and I want you to know whether this is divisible by four and why so you know already know that how to identify whether a number is divisible by four okay let us review first if the last two digits is divisible by four and the last two digits also ends in zero. It is divisible by four. Okay, you may now proceed. Okay, now let us see if your answer is correct. In number one, we have 540. So what is the last two digits? The last two digits is what? Yes, it is 40. If we divide 40 by 4, it is 10. There is no remainder. Yes, your answer is correct. <laughs> How about number 2? The last two digits here in 400, okay, 400 is 20. So it ends in 20. It is also divisible by 4. How about in number 3, 648? The last two digits form is 48. So when we divide 48 by 4, it, you know, the answer is 12. So it is divisible by 4. Correct. How about number 4? We have 106. The last two digits is not divisible by 4. So it is not divisible by Four. How about number 5? Five? 525. Is 25 divisible by 4? Of course, no. When you divide it by 4, there will be a remainder. So it's not divisible by 4. You're correct. Okay, let's go now on the divisibility rule of 8. A number is divisible by 8 when the number formed by the last 3 digits of a number is divisible by 8 and a number ending in three zeros is also divisible by 8 so we have to remember that when the number formed by the last three digits of a number it is divisible by 8 and a number ending in three zeros is also divisible by 8 So I want you to look at this number. We have 9,264. The last three digits form is what? 
264. So if we divide it by 8, the answer is 33. So it is divisible by 8. We have here 78,000. So another rule is that if the last three digits ending in 0, it is divisible by 8. If 78,000 ends in 30, yes, it ends in 30. That's why it is divisible by 8. Is that clear? So let us see and test yourself. So I have here three or I have here five numbers. Tell me if this is divisible by eight and why. So you have to apply the the two rules, no? The two rules if the last three digits is divisible or form is divisible by eight and it ends in three zero. That is divisible. Okay, let us see your answer. Number one, we have 240. So, the answer is yes. Because 240, when you divide it by 8, it is 30. No remainder. Another one, number two, 8,000. It ends in 30, yes. It is divisible by 8. How about number 3? 8,648. So, if you divide this by 8, the answer is 81. So, it is divisible by 8. Now, how about in number 4? It ends in... What? 003 is not divisible by 4. How about this number 5? We have... 65,000 so it's and it ends in 30 okay so it is divisible by 8 okay let us go now to the divisibility rule of 11 a number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of the its alternating digit is 0 or any number is divisible by 11. So let us see the example. The difference of the sum of its alternating digit is 0. So I have here an example. So I have 275. So the alternating number is 2 and 5. And so 2 plus 5 is 7. This one 7 plus 0. So, let us put an imaginary 0 here. So, two, uh, 0 plus 7 is 7. So, the difference between the two sum is 7 minus 7 is 0. So, this number 275 is divisible by 11. Is there any question? Intindihan ba? Hindi ba nalito? The two alternating number, their sum is 0. Yes, it is divisible by 11. Another example. I have here 4,000 268. Okay, the two alternating numbers is this. 2 and 8. So, let us see. 2 plus 8 is 10. Now, another number is 6 plus 4 is 10 also. When we subtract them, the answer is 0. That's why it is divisible by 11. So, let's try this. I have only two numbers. I want you to try. Okay, let us see your answer. 
Yes. Okay. Correct. This two. Two n and six. That is eight. And eight plus zero is eight. Then eight minus eight is zero. Correct. So three plus nine is twelve. And seven plus five is twelve. And twelve minus twelve is zero. Correct. You're correct. Okay. Let's go now to the divisibility rule of 12. A number is divisible by both 3 and 4 is divisible by 12. So if they, they are uh, uh, divisible by 3 and by 4, it is divisible by 12. So let us now review the divisibility rule of 3 and 4. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digit is divisible by 3. So, tandaan niya na, if the sum of its di digits is divisible by 3. So, we have here an example, 486. Let us add the digits. 4 plus 8 is what? 12 plus 6 is 18. So, when we divide 18 by 3, when we divide 18 by 3, what is the answer? The answer is what? Correct. 6. Now, let's go now to the review the divisibility rule of 4. Okay. A number is divisible by 4 when the number formed by the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4 and a number ending in 20 is divisible by 4. Again, a number is divisible by 4 when the number formed by the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4 and a number ending in 20 is also divisible by 4. Let us look on the example. Look at this number. We have 900. It is divisible by 4. Why? Because it ends in 20. Let us see if this is also divisible by 3. Let us add the three digits. 9 plus 0 is 9. Plus 0 is equals to 9. Is 9 divisible by 3? Yes. When we divide 9 by 3, what is our answer? It is 3. So it is divisible by... 900 is divisible by... 12. Okay, let's go now on the example. So I have here five numbers and tell me if this is divisible by 12 and why. Let us see. Okay, number one, the last two digits is divisible by four, correct? And if we add the digits, so we, it is divisible by three. The answer is yes. Now, number two, we have 80, the la, 80 divisible by four. Yes, it is divisible by four. How about the three, the digits? If we add it, 
this is divisible by 3? Yes. So, the answer is correct. Now, in number 3, we have 315. Is 15 divisible by 4? Of course, no. But, when we add the digits, 3 plus 1 plus 5 is 9. This is divisible by 3. Uh, the answer is no. Because, in the first rule, 15 is not divisible by 4. Another one, we have 87. 87 is not divisible by 4. But when we add the digit, it's not also divisible by 3. The answer is no. And last number is 210. Is 10 divisible by 4? No, it is not. Okay, but, but when we add the, the digits, it is divisible by 3. So it is no. It's not divisible by 12. Okay? Your answer is all correct. Okay, I want you to remember this or keep this in mind, class. A number is divisible by 4 when the number formed by the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4. And a number ending in two zeros is also divisible by 4. So we have here divisibility by 8. A number is divisible by 8 when the number formed by the last three digits of a number is divisible by 8. And a number ending in three zeros is also divisible by 8. The divisibility of 12. A number is divisible by 12 if the, if the number or both numbers are divisible by 3 and 4. It is divisible by 12. Again, divisibility by 12. A number that is divisible by both 3 and 4 is divisible by 12. So another one, we have divisibility rule of 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of its alternating digits is 0 or any number is divisible by 11. I hope you learned something today. This is Mamado. See you on our next lesson. Thank you. Bye.